Hello guys, uh, my name is Suraj and I am working with uh, PC Solutions for pre-sales as well the post-sales and today I am here to show you the hands-on demonstration on the new Cisco product uh, that is 1850 mobility access point which work as a controller as well the access point and uh, this product is basically you can say that it is having the most advanced technology like 802.11 AC with wave 2 supportability and it can support uh, the other EPs to control by itself extend up to 25 EPs and those EPs not required to be on the same model or same uh, uh, series they can be a uh, standalone EP or they can be the different uh, same mobility access point EPs. so this will power it up through PoE port it can be power it up through the adapter and we have the console port to manage it up through console and the auxiliary port so today I am going to show you that how you can and how easy to configure that thing. so firstly as soon as it got powered on we receive the SSID that is called Cisco air provision we need to connect to that SSID then open your browser and enter the IP 192.168.1.1 that is the default IP and that is already inbuilt okay so here we need to create an admin username and the password so I'll put admin and the password we start it up it starts from set up your controller first because on the back end it is uh, configured as a mobility express which by default it is acting as a controller as well the AP and if you want you can make it as the lightweight AP so you can configure your system name country date time time zone if you have the NTP server or if you want to change your management IP you can change from here as per your network then the second option that we have is create your wireless network this is your employee network create your SSID your security measurements then your password whatever you want to choose then your VLAN after that if you want to create guest network also you can create from here no need to go anywhere after that we have some advanced settings to manage its RF parameters if you want to change the RF parameters you can do that whether you want for data traffic or you want data or voice traffic you can do and finish it up that's it after that your AP start broadcasting your customized SSID and it is easy uh, start working okay guys 